Penguin Kids is hosting a book inspired Halloween costume contest and I'm going to show you how to make your costumes a little extra special with face paint and a few easy techniques. The Very Hungry Caterpillar is one of our favorite books, so my daughter's already really excited about this. You can see I started with a squiggly line, and that's actually going to be my guide for my caterpillar, which makes this really easy. Once I have the squiggly line in place, I'm just going to take a filbert brush, or you can take a flat brush, and I'm just going to take different shades of green, and I'm going to press the brush down to create the different segments of the caterpillar. One of the great things about choosing this character, um, if you're not an experienced face painter is that all the different segments are different sizes they're squiggly they're not even so you do not have to be too precise I'm just going into my paint and switching up the colors with bright greens and turquoises and more of an olive green and then I'm just pushing my brush down over the line I created for my guide and creating those segments. It's really very easy. And then for the caterpillar head, I'm taking a nice bright red and making kind of a half circle with a little bit of a squiggle to it. Because again, this caterpillar is not perfect, which makes it a really, really easy design to face paint. So I've added purple antenna. I will add yellow and green for the eyes and continue to add some detail to my caterpillar until he looks like a complete, very hungry caterpillar. I do want to mention that face paint is not a requirement to enter the contest. However, if you'd like to try this look, I think it'd be adorable if you got some butterfly wings for your kid and face painted them uh, like this would just be the cutest costume and quite easy. Now for the feet, I am just going to push down and over with a small round brush and it's very easy to create our little caterpillar feet here. Just a few more details and our Very Hungry Caterpillar is almost complete. I do want to mention I'm using water activated face paint to create this look and I will put a link below for a starter kit if you would like to try this look. So here is our hungry caterpillar, and then on the opposite side, we're gonna make sure our caterpillar has something to eat. So I'm gonna start by doing an apple above my daughter's eye, and you can think of this as starting with a heart shape, and then just flatten out the bottom a little bit, add a quick stem, and then trace along the outside of the apple with that same brown from the stem. And then I'm gonna do basically the same thing with a pear shape at the corner of my daughter's eye, and then an orange, at the bottom of the pear. So with the brown, doing the stem, and then just giving it a nice light outline. And the orange is very simple, almost a perfect circle, but the nice thing about this design is that nothing has to be too precise. You can be pretty loose with it. I'm also going to take some yellow face paint and just highlight all of my fruit so it has some definition. And then on a round brush, I'm going to take some black paint and I'm just going to do some large circles in our fruit so that it looks like our caterpillar has eaten his way through our apple, our pear, and our orange. The Penguin Kids Halloween Costume Contest is live now and you can find more information about how to enter in the description box below, as well as a playlist to other looks I created from popular books to help inspire you. Please like and subscribe to my channel for more and have a fun and safe Halloween.